Hello, I hope that you are doing well. My name is Jeremy and I wanted to do a video about prioritizing mental health in 2023 and beyond. Um, to me, mental health is like your song and dance with life. Life has different songs that it plays based on where you are in your life and how you stay on rhythm with that song determines your mental health. Right. Sometimes we get knocked out of rhythm and we need help getting back on rhythm. And that's OK. Um, I, I hope that very soon the culture, the environment, society really embraces the importance of mental health, because without having um, rhythm with the song and dance of life, then the quality of your life is drastically constrained and you can't maximize on this human experience that we're having. Um, the first thing that I'll tell you about mental health and prioritizing it is ensuring that you have the tools and resources to help you get on the path that you desire. Um, tools for me are, or the main tool for me was therapy. Therapy is not the solution. It is a tool used to help you get on the path to um, getting your mental health where you want it to be. It is okay to admit that things are not okay. It is okay to acknowledge that things are not perfect. It is okay to um, say that your life did not unfold the way that you wanted it to unfold. Uh, that is a part of life. That is a part of the human experience. The action that you take is uh, how you change your life. The action that you take is how you um, go from being where you are to getting to where you want to be. Therapy was an important tool for me because I had to take a snapshot of my life, identify the triggers that were happening as my life was unfolding, and then trace them to the roots. And those roots were often unaddressed traumas or pains or hurt or conditioning that uh, was a part of how my life unfolded and had never been um, recognized. And through consistent therapy, not an overnight process, I was given tools and resources on how to better navigate life. It doesn't mean that things were perfect, but it meant I was in a much better place than I was when I started. Um, it is important to know that having the right professional uh, will change the experience that you have in therapy. In other words, if I know that I've been through specific things, I may want to find an individual who is credentialed or certified or has experiences with what I've gone through. It doesn't mean that I 100% have to have trauma for experience or one-to-one um, -one connection with the things that I've gone through and what the professional specializes in, but it means that it gives them a better uh, way to connect with you and to help you get onto the path that you want to be on. I, I think it's totally fair for you to look at reviews and look at websites and try to get a 15, 10 to 15 minute consultation to see if they're a right fit for you and uh, you are a right fit for them. Doing that work up front helps to better the experience that you will have in therapy. Um, for me, therapy was not an overnight process. And I would imagine for the majority of us, especially if this is the first time that you're thinking about prioritizing your mental health, therapy will not be overnight for you. But the time that you invest in bettering your mental health will be time well spent. Uh, the next thing that I'll talk about is the importance of meditation. Um, for me, meditation is a spiritual practice that gives me the safe space, the freedom, the liberty, um, the no judgment zone to be raw, transparent and vulnerable with myself. Um, therapy was a tool uh, and meditation helped me unpack things more. So in other words, when I talked about things with my therapist, I then spent 30 to 45 minutes meditating on the things that we talked about. Um, and the more that I uh, went to therapy and meditated, the more that I started to develop a new perspective on life. And thus, I was able to better navigate life and through better mental health, have a better human experience. Meditation is what you define it as. It's not necessarily 
being quiet for long periods of time. Sometimes it's about breathing. Sometimes it's about relaxing. Sometimes it's about thinking about abstract or complex things. You define what meditation is. Um, but again, the more that I went to therapy and meditated and developed a unique perspective, the more I was able to use my improved mental health to show up differently in life, to make better decisions, and to also encourage people to prioritize their mental health as well. Um, again, it's not an overnight journey, but it was time well spent. What I hope you take away from this video is in prioritizing your mental health with two things based on my experience, therapy and meditation, you can really change the trajectory of your life. It's not an overnight process, but again, it is so worth it. It's okay for things not to be the way that you uh, wanted them to be. It's okay for things to not unfold the way that you implant you plan them to unfold that is how life works life is chaotic divine perfection in its chaos it unfolds in a way that only divine perfection can explain um, and sometimes when life unfolds and we don't know how to navigate the situation we get hurt we get traumatized we endure things that our brain can't process and or we haven't been taught to how or taught how to process getting help um, and working through that over whatever the time frame that we need to get help um, is important and well worth it. Uh, the last thing that I'll leave you with, uh, but I'll circle back to meditation, is a support system. Um, know who you can trust by looking at people's actions, not just um, by what they say. And to end meditation, again, is the safe space. It is what you define it as. It gives you the freedom to unpack what you're learning about yourself in therapy. A new perspective on life not only helps you to better navigate life, but it also helps you to be more empathetic and to be more kind to others who haven't taken that journey yet. I hope that you prioritize your mental health in 2023 to be able to not only navigate this human experience better, but to also maximize on this human experience and live the life that you deserve. Have a great day.